peace everybody welcome back to all viral access media um this is all allegedly let me say this off the rip because i was actually putting putting together a video which took so many hours however i seen this we we we, we gonna check this out so this just came out less than an hour ago a good hour hour ago right so it says here the vote uncut the streets are talking I've been getting so many reports from first-hand witnesses. It's crazy. The people that came forward showed me 100% proof they was there firsthand, but I can't expose their identities. They told me Quavo was arguing with J. Prince Jr. He shrugged J. Prince Jr. off and walked away, saying, let's go before I hurt somebody. Immediately after takeoff was following by the entourage to leave, a yellow hoodie who goes by the name of Little Cam grabbed Takeoff and shot him in the head and then tried to use his body as a shield when they when Takeoff began to fall. Remember, the messages said, first shot, Takeoff drop. That's when Quavo's manager pulled out his gun. His gun was already drawn. He had it out on his hip. Um, on his side, I mean. It was not a straight bullet. Quavo's manager seen the whole thing and tried to protect Takeoff. And it's actually believed that Quavo's manager might accidentally, excuse me, actually shot the girl Sydney in the head. I'm going to show you her picture in a minute. It was on accident and she survived. The hospital have officially removed her tubes out and she's in stable condition. Quavo's assistant was also shot, but two survived. As for the yellow hoodie, I've heard the team is allegedly hiding him. His job is to protect J. Prince Jr. My source said as of yesterday, the entire J. Prince Jr. team is shook right now. Since all the evidence is out, everyone is talking and telling how they how this all started because of him and they are now receiving many threats from Takeoff's family and associates. However, the father J. Prince Sr. and Jazz Prince has nothing to do with it. And J. Prince Sr. has made it clear in his cryptic caption swipe, they both are, excuse me, they both were not there when the shooting or argument occurred. Also, police know Yellow Hoodie did it, but they are playing it safe until they catch him. Everybody knows and is telling exactly what went down. Swipe for all the evidence. It's about to get ugly outside. Reality is officially setting in for takeoffs, people, and they are devastated. So, look at look at Quavo looking at him with, with, with the eye. Anyway, he keeping his eye on him. You know what I'm saying? So this is him. So this is what um, J. Prince Sr. said. He said, "Listen, this is what he said. Um, he listens fast and slow. He's fast to listen and slow to speak." Therefore, to whomever is responsible for putting that bullet in my little nephew's head, let it be known that you can't hide behind me, beside me, or anywhere near me because I don't tolerate dumb shit. So this is Lulu Cam. So that's him right here again. So this is the girl, Sydney. Shout out to Revolt Uncut, all right? Um, we already know this video, all right? So we already know... What happened? So take off flinches. And that's him coming out of the restaurant. I got it on slow mo anyway, so that's him. But let me show you something, cause I was. At Let's go to the first shot. Let's go to the first shot. The first shot. He is still alive, though. The first shot, he's still alive. Let's go to the first shot. So if that's the first shot, he's still up and standing. He's still here. If somebody gets shot in the head off the first shot, they are not standing again. They're not standing. He's standing right there. He's standing. So that first shot, he's not hit in the head because he's still standing. And let's continue.
I gotta just show you because this is this is in fast mode. So I, I'm gonna have to do it like this again. Let's go to the slow mo. Follow me. I'm actually talking here because I'm actually putting this video together. I was doing this for hours. That's why editing, editing. You could a person could put up a, a seven minute video. It could take hours to get it done just to put it out. So anyway, so. This is right before you see him looking. Like I already showed you right here. Hold on, right here. OMG. I should have paused it. He was still alive. Right here. I hate when this happened. Just follow me, y'all. That's the first shot already happened right there. The first shot already happened. All right, it's pause. He goes by. He's still up. That's when Sun is backing out, backing up. Sun with the hoodie right there. It's kind of grainy, so we can't see exactly what he's doing in that moment. But could he have been trying to shoot him at that moment? Come on, come on, come on. You see takeoff right there, and he turns around again. That's when he turns around. He's not dead at that moment. So that first shot, he's not dead. And again, let's go to when you, when we first hear the shot. Either way, okay? Either way, he, he's dead, which is unfortunate. Now, that sound like a shot. That that sounds like a shot, right? He's still alive at that moment. He's still alive. So it's like either somebody shot in the air. It was just a you know a, a, a um, um, shot by mistake because at first I thought that maybe that he got um like somebody snatched the chain you know what I mean I was actually thinking this dude where we at hold on just follow me now Now you see the dude he's about to like bounce. Now that sound, I thought it sounded like a chain. I actually kind of feel like this dude snatched the chain. You know what I mean? He snatched the chain and bounced. Because he had on three chains. When he was dead on the ground, just just look at look at the um the video when he's on the ground. God bless his soul. And they try to pick him up. You didn't see the chains that he had on. Let me just go to the to that evidence that I already had. I was I've been working on this all day. For hours, I mean. Where we at? Is it right here? No. Right here. He had on three chains right here. He had on three chains. Or maybe for one, you got one Jesus piece, another Jesus piece, at the end it's another chain, and then the small one that goes around the neck. I would just say three to four, or two to, well, that's two right there. Two to, well, three chains on. Three to four, or just three chains on. You see the small one right here around the neck? See the Jesus piece, and the other Jesus piece. He got on three chains when he was laying on the ground. You only seen like this small one around his neck. You didn't see these. I, I understand gravity if he's laying on his back, you know, the, the gravity, like the chain will go 
around like on the floor or behind his head or whatever due to how how he falls so the gravity will basically pull the chains you won't be able to see on his chest but when they lift them up you didn't see any chains dangling at all you didn't hear it none of the, none of the above so his chain was actually snatched you understand what i'm saying so it's 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 crazy how um the first shot he was still alive and you can actually hear it in real time. He's alive right there. He's right there. This is after the pow. He's right there. He's not down. So maybe was that a, a mistaken shot? Or somebody shot in the air? I still feel like the dude snatched his chain. I still feel like he snatched his chain in this dude... Hold on. And this dude with the white hoodie probably tried to snatch it too. You know what I mean? I got to do it in slow-mo. But that first shot, that's supposed to be the first shot. He's still standing. If you get shot in the head, he will not be standing in that moment. Uh, okay. Check. Okay. Because he's still right there. And you see how he turned around. If he's using his body as a shield, how can quite, um, take off just turn around like that? If you shot in the head, you would be done. You would be dead. But you, if he got shot, you would hear him say, ah! That first shot in the head, boom, he was down. He can't say nothing. He can't scream nothing. Maybe just the, the random other shots from the exchange of gunfire. That's how he got shot in the torso and in, in the arm and stuff like that. So, you know what I mean? <laughs> So it's kind of crazy. It's really kind of crazy. And, and let me just go here. And you see how he come out. You know what I mean? You see how he come out the door. Hold on. Hold on, here we go, right here. Come on, baby. So he just come out, this is right after the fact. Son just come out right after the fact. You know what I'm saying? So he must got the jewels. He done put the gun up or whatever the, whatever it was. He got up out of there. You think what I'm saying? So if that's the case, man, that's really effed up. You know what I'm saying? And um, like I said before, it could have been the shooter that was literally... That's behind on the side of the dude who's filming, who's recording right here. As we see, it could be on this right side of him or the left side of him. I'm still thinking on the right side next to the dude with the um, with the white um, sweater and the dreads and the blue jeans. That's right by the rail right here on the right hand side. You know what I mean? Because when they start shooting the dude with the um, the yellow ran up in there, ran up in the you know inside the spot already. However. He probably still could have shot him on a, like, when he ran up on him and, uh, you know, and uh, when uh, t took a takeoff, turned around. You understand what I'm saying? And this is what I'm talking about, the white, the white sweater, blue jeans. So the person who probably was shooting is probably in between them somewhere because it's, it, it, it's you know, it don't make sense. Let's take off right there. So after that initial first shot, he's still alive. So either the um the dude with the um hoodie could have shot him and killed him right then and there, right then and there, and then bounce inside there. Because that first shot, he's still alive. You can't get shot in the head and just and just run and then turn around quick like how he did. Let me show y'all one more time, and then we're just gonna end this video. All right.
All right. And again, this is my commentary. Hold on. Like right here. It's like he's, you know, taking out a burner or something. But you see Takeover, look at Migo, right? So as he's about to walk, and Migo got his eyes on the dude with the, with the hoodie, right? And you see how he just, as he's walking past him, he look, you see his arm jerk back a little bit. Some people say he was trying to take his chain or whatever the case may be, right? And you see me go, he peep. Whatever that is going on right there. Right there. Whatever that is going on right there, is he trying to take the chain or stop him, hold him at gunpoint? Whatever the case may be, he peeps it because he's already stepping back. And remember, as he's stepping back, that first gunshot sound was already done already. That was the first one. So just remember that. That first shot, he did not go down because he's still right there. Proof. Keeps it because he's already stepping back. They both looking at the same person. Migo and Tego looking at the same dude. Now, if it's a snuff or the first shot, because... Could have been a punch because takeoff is right there. You see how you turn around? That's 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 takeoff. Now could that been a part where they sh the dude in a in a hoodie shoots him in the head right there and then pew and then run up in there? How? Because the first shot he's still right there. He wouldn't just turn around. He, you saw he turned around quick. He turned around. Mind you, when you see the o overhead shot of him laying down on the ground, this is exactly where he died at, right here, because he was close to the to to the um to this railing right at the rail. The overhead picture, and you see him laying there by himself with the blood coming around. It said, "Sorry to be so graphic." He was literally this close to the rail. It's an overhead look. So. Right here had to be it. So did he shoot him right there? Because once he runs to the door, that's when you hear the shots. The 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 the, 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 the um the, the looks like the further it you know um gunshots. You feel me? So this 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 whole shit is kind of crazy. Hold on, damn, I'm kind of yeah. So let's go back real quick, and I'm gonna end it, man. Again, remember. This is the first gunshot, and I I I think that it was a chain snatch too. He's still alive. That's supposed to have been the first gunshot. Let's go to a more clearer sound of it. This is a better sound. Okay. Pow. First gunshot. He is still alive. He's still alive. He's still alive. So I don't know what's going on. Something ain't right. But God bless. And if what's the name is not in well like i said jay prince he he wasn't there he wasn't there at all you know what i mean so if this is the alleged killer then that's really effed up you know what i'm saying so it's it's, it's really effed up what happened to, to that dude man for no reason and he probably tried to snatch his chain there as well you know what i'm saying and that's really effed up son Fucked up over some basketball, man. Basketball? I'm glad she's doing good. Crazy shit, man. Come on, man. I'm out. What's your thoughts?